I'm Pastor Mike Custer, the pastor of Bible Baptist Church in Grand Forks, North Dakota, and we'll go we'll go ahead and read from the scriptures this morning and talk about a couple of things. Proverbs chapter 5, verse 1 and 2 says, My son, attend unto my wisdom, and bow thine ear to my understanding, that thou mayest regard discretion, and that thy lips may keep knowledge. And these verses talk about, about listening to the truth and applying the truth in your heart. And I think that this brings up, brings to mind a very familiar mistake that people make these days, and that is they just don't think about things. We hear what we hear, and often we just accept at face, at face value what comes into our ears, and we don't stop to think or reason through or line up what we're hearing with truth from God's Word. And people just don't take the time to think about things thinking about where is this going to lead and what will be the consequences of these actions and where will this likely take me and asking the Lord for leadership and guidance and wisdom to make decisions on the basis of the fact that this is what I believe I should do, but is this really the wisest course? God gave us a brain for a reason and we're to use that. And although it's not God's intent that we elevate our own reasoning powers, above divine revelation, that is scripture that God's actually given to us, we should think things through, and especially should we think things through with biblical principles in mind. Where will this lead? What's going to be the outcome of this if I take this course? Listen to these verses again. My son, attend unto my wisdom, and bow thine ear to my understanding. Just think about the wisdom of God and divine understanding and truth that thou mayest regard discretion, and that thy lips may keep knowledge. And he talks about thinking about things, but also being careful about what you say, that your lips would keep knowledge. Guard your lips and make sure you speak wisely, but first make sure that you're thinking correctly. And God's word helps us to think correctly. It gives us a sound mind, the Bible says. God hasn't given us a spirit of fear. We should not use fear to to be the primary component in the decisions that we make, but of power and of love and of a sound mind. And it's God's power that should be behind our reasoning steps and, and that we should follow his divine truth rather than following sometimes our own, our own feelings and our own uh, thoughts, which can be so easily influenced by unspiritual stimulus. May you today realize the importance of rolling things through your mind and praying about them before you make a choice, before you make a decision. Use and apply God's wisdom in your life. He's given us so much and we can be joyful and come to a joyful end if we will use the truths that God has given us. God bless you today.